you know, I'm, I've become quite used to seeing yeah. things like that, and it's a shame. But, you know, on the positive, and I'm, all, I'm one of these people that always likes to look at the positive, there are now more women in politics. In, in the Scottish Parliament, when I stand up every week to do First Minister's questions, I'm doing it in front of a, a woman presiding officer, the Indeed. Speaker of the yeah. Scottish Parliament. There's a woman asking me questions from the Labour opposition. There's a woman asking me questions from the Tory opposition. I mean, that's big progress, but there's still a long way to go, and mm. we need to keep moving that progress forward. Now, you lost. It was no, wasn't it? You it know, was. And, and Scotland it decided was. to stay a, mm. as part of the UK. But interestingly, there's a, there's a poll out just now that says 69% of Scots mm -hmm. and 59% of people outside Scotland think mm -hmm. it's inevitable, think it will happen. I think you? the mood in Scotland is, yes, that Scotland will become an independent country one day. That The feeling is that's the direction yeah. of travel we're on. Now, don't get me wrong, there are still people who don't want that to happen. Yeah. And it will only happen if a majority of people can be persuaded mm. to vote for that in a referendum. I can't tell you right now when it's going to happen, mm. but it will be determined not by me, not by the SNP, but by majority opinion in Scotland. Mm. And until that happens, as long as we're still part of the UK, part of the Westminster system, then we want to be a constructive voice. You know, during the referendum, we had Westminster politicians saying, you know, Scotland's voice is heard, Scotland mm. is an equal and valued partner of the UK. So don't be surprised if at the general election, we take those Westminster politicians at their word and mm. say, we've got policies and ideas to bring to the table for progressive change, not just in Scotland, but across the UK. We'll stand up for Scotland's interest. That's what we're there to do. But I'm really keen to build progressive alliances across the rest of the UK because we've got lots in common with many voters in England and Wales as well.